Fulfilling its social and community development mission, Donkey Donuts Bakery in Hanoi has created jobs for many local disabled people. Recently, its special staff has the honor to receive mentoring from a German master baker, Mr. Klaus Gerhardt, on how to make European quality confectionery. Now our reporter will take you to the kitchen of Donkey Donuts to attend a special lesson in our connecting culture this week. Dozens of freshly made donuts and breads are ready to serve customers at the Donkey Donuts store in Daehoe of Hanoi. Here, the German and other expat communities can pick up the pastries that have quality of European confectionery, and they are happy with their choices. For us, especially my family, my boy and my wife, they are so happy to have German bread. We love Vietnamese food. We really love Vietnamese food, and the bread was the only thing that we were missing from back home. Since this bakery opened and since we had the German bread and the brezel, my favorite brezel, <laughs> uh, since then everybody is very happy in my house. We love bread. So, you know, this was really um, a paradise for us to find this place. A few months ago, the thought of the bakery being able to produce true German bread was unimaginable. But that was before 75-year-old Klaus Gerhardt began to teach the staff. Gerhardt is a member of Senior Expert Services, or SES, a German non-profit organization which assists companies abroad on various fields. Gerhardt used to work at restaurants and hotels in Vietnam. However, the lessons that he is giving at Dunkin' Donuts Bakery are special with almost all of his pupils being the disabled. He watches them doing and uses exaggerated motions to help correct things. Working with the hearing impaired people is a new experience for me, and it is very interesting to see that they understand my body language, so it is really motivating. They want to learn, and this shows in our work. I really enjoy working with them. After two months, Gerhardt's tenure at Dunkin' Donuts is about to end but the knowledge he has left behind may transform the staff. I am confident that what they have learned about breaking bread, they will be able to continue in the future. According to its owners, Dunkey Donuts is a special enterprise, not a charity. With the business, they are proving that the disabled can not only work, but can produce an exceptional product with the proper training and guidance. And a business can be successful with the model. 80 to 90 percent of our employees are disabled. Most of them are hearing impaired. And we would like to prove uh, to the corporate society or corporate uh, world that you can be successful even when you're employing 80 to 90 percent, uh, yes, disabled people. The disadvantaged children often have few chances to find a job. Dunkin Donuts is where they and us join hands. The business is to help them and also provide expat community in the city with their homeland's tastes. Beside the master baker, Danke Donuts also receive assistance from many volunteers in Vietnam who help with training tactics. Following the guidance, the special staff will find it easier to put out delicious pastries and bread. More significantly, the job may open more chances for them to integrate into the society in the future.